All right, what's going on everybody? Broken Games HDR back at it again with another video. Now this one, this one's definitely gonna be short. Ain't no way I'm able to make this video that long, all right? But we got some details about Grand Theft Auto 6, and I'm gonna go through them, right? Some of these details, I can already hear the anti-woke demographic pulling their hair out, going crazy on, on, on Twitter. Uh, there, I'm, I haven't like viewed it, but I know this crowd. I know them very well. They're typing up a storm on Twitter and they're getting their cameras ready to make YouTube videos about how, you know, Rockstar and Take Two are going woke, go woke, go broke. And by the way, to some people, woke me just means anything that's not white and a male. So a lot of these things aren't actually woke, but to some people, if it's not white and male, and honestly straight, then it's woke. Um, so yeah, let's get to the uh, GTA 6 details that have been revealed by, that come from Bloomberg. So for the first time ever, Grand Theft Auto 6 is going to have a female protagonist, uh, a Latina female protagonist, right? Uh, they said the influence comes from Bonnie and Clyde. Uh, the code name for GTA 6 has been Project Americus. Um, the main location is a fictional version of Miami and its surrounding areas. Uh, the game will evolve over time and add new cities. Some people, you know, don't like the way that sounds, you know, because when they think, oh, you're going to add, you know, it's, something's evolving over time. Sometimes that could be a red flag. You know, that kind of sounds like games as a service or episodic type thing with GTA, you know, and people don't want that. But I'm not not necessarily worried about that. Uh, the game world is already large, so they're, you know, um, assuring you there. Uh, more interior locations than previous GTA games, because, you know, in previous GTA games, it had a huge city, but, um, you know, a lot of stuff you couldn't even go in, you know, like buildings and stores and stuff like that. Um, what else we got? Uh, okay, so these are the changes that have happened within Rockstar Studio since 2018, right? Uh, more producers to help avoid crunch. You all know what I say. I don't mind a little bit of crunch in my games. You know, crunch be making some games better. I'm just keeping it real. Uh, schedule changes, a conversion of contractors to full employees, removal of em abusive employees, new mental health and leave benefits. Staff is more flexible with their time. Developers are, are also being cautious to not punch down. Okay, so that the, the staff is more flexible with their time it was the last... Uh, part of the internal, you know, improvements to the studio. Um, this part that I'm about to read, this part, you know, will have some of the anti-woke folk um, upset also, along with, you know, the protagonist. See, it's never just, never really sometimes just one thing. It's the it's the accu accumulation. It's the different things that kind of like piss them off. They're like, they're like splinters in their side and they hate it. So the article also said developers are being cautious to not punch down by making jokes about marginalized groups so um yeah the game is at least two years away um it's been in development from uh from 2014 uh rockstar wanted to include large por large portions of uh of north north and south america um but the game had to be reeled in because it was a little bit too uh a ambitious right so I'm excited about the, you know, the female uh, Latina protagonist. That's great. It's something different. I'm always down for that. Um, it's a different perspective. It's a different view. Um, I'm very interested in, and excited to play, you know, um, with a female protagonist in GTA for the first time. So that's that's cool. They didn't confirm whether it's going to be one protagonist or they're going back to multiple. I'm going to be real with you. I prefer one. I it's not. I like GTA Five, but dealing with the multiple storylines from um the three characters it i felt like it was a lot right i felt like it, it it was a lot and um it was it was good to experience you know one time but i i think for me i ended up you know wanting to play as like one character most of the time you know I, that's that's like franklin and and, and michael you know, like, in Fra and mostly Franklin. So to me, I, I would just rather play as one character. Um, the different pers perspectives was cool. And I think, you know, it, you know, having playing as multiple protagonists, 
is good for a one-off, but I don't want to do it for every GTA game anymore. I, you know, it was a one-time thing for me. I'm, I'm good on that. Um, so yeah, I'm glad she's uh, it, it's a different ethnicity. It's a female. And, you know, that makes the game different and, you know, excited to see how that goes. Uh, it's going to be in fictional Miami. Cool, I guess. That's very, you know, Vice. You know, I guess it's going to be very Vice City-ish. Uh, all this other stuff is cool. It's going to be larger, you know, more interior locations. Um, now, as far as them not punching down, right? Punching, punching down by making jokes about marginalized groups is always, like, interesting, right? Because... It's like almost you can consider a lot of groups marginalized groups, you know, that the LGBT community is considered marginalized, even though, listen, I'll I'll argue motherfuckers got a lot of goddamn power. Right. But they are still the minority and they are considered marginalized. Of course, um, um, black people are considered marginalized. Um, Latino people, you know, you know who all the marginalized groups are, but I'm gonna be real with you. Even when it comes to black people, I don't mind black jokes. Like, you know, I don't, I, I like jokes. As long as you're equal opportunity with the jokes, I don't care. You know, and GTA, I think has always been that way. They've made fun of all races, um, ethnicities, you know, all walks of life all walks of life. Uh, so that's why, you know, I'm like, I don't think they have to pull their punches. I don't think it's necessary. Just, you know, that's, that's why, like, when it comes to shit like shows like South Park, for example, South Park makes fun of everybody, everybody, every type of person, race, ethnicity, um, whatever your sexual preferences, you know, whatever your orientation, whatever your mindset your 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 uh your you know just whether you politically whether you lean left right down the middle south park literally makes fun of everybody and that's the way you should do it if you're going to punch down as they call it just do it you know equally and um i don't see that there's a problem so and what's defined as marginalized communities are those excluded from mainstream social economic educational educational and cultural life which is a huge you know range of people i, I still think you got to you know you got to keep the jokes in there you got to keep you got you got to poke fun at, at people man just hold a mirror up to society um that's what makes gta gta i'm not upset about it i'm not mad about them trying you know to uh be a, i guess a little bit more uh respectful or whatever they're trying to do like i'm not losing my mind over it i'm not going to you know get the uh use pull out the not my gta hashtag or make a whole bunch of angry videos like it like uh, about it like i'm sure some people will eventually do if they're if they're not doing it already but i'm saying i think you could do it um in a tasteful manner you could do it in a tasteful manner and Regardless of how sensitive society is now, you can get away with it. I mean, and you're GTA, bro. What are they going to do? What are they going to do to GTA? Like, listen, you, like they tried to take down GTA since three and they haven't been able to do it. They, it's only gotten more popular since then. So what like what can you like? Geez, it's not possible to cancel GTA. You know, like what? Come on now. They couldn't they couldn't do it. 20 some odd years ago, they, they, they can't do it now when it's bigger than ever, regardless of how society, you know, is so sensitive and they feel like everything's an insult. Um, so I don't I don't I don't see them really needing to do that. But they want to be, a, you know, a, a nicer, uh, more inclusive company, I guess. And uh, yeah, I'm not making this video go over 10 minutes. There's really not, nothing else I got to say. Y'all, because I promise it's going to be a short. I consider short anything under 10 minutes. So y'all let me know what y'all think about this. Hit the like button. Follow me on Twitter. Um, hit the join button. All that good stuff. Link is in the description. I will catch y'all on the next video. I am out of here. Okay? Peace.